Hey everybody, uh, we are Team Summer Health. Uh, we help parents get connected to pediatricians incredibly fast, but today we decided to challenge ourselves to help you build the perfect doctor without doctors. And so that's what our product's gonna be today. I'll talk through it as Jose goes through it. So what you're gonna see here is we've basically leveraged uh, AI to generate all the questions and answers. Uh, the first step is actually trying to understand, you know, what do you care about uh, when you're looking for pediatricians? What's their empathy? what's their communication style, um, what ethnicity or gender um, you would like your pediatricians to be. And so Jose is just going through. And then on the uh, left side, you can basically see all the prompts that are being generated, the answers that are being generated, and obviously the answers that we've given it, or that we've selected. So um, cool. So we're just going to try to go through it quick. So, so as you can see, uh, inspired by Pokemon, um, and now we're finding the perfect pediatrician for you. Uh, and we also leverage Dali, uh, Dali to create all the images uh, that you see. Um, and so I actually got rate limited. I actually, I can't use it for another 48 hours. Uh, so I create a lot of images. All right, so the doctor is Dr. Carlos. He's a, apparently he's a triplet. He has three of them. Um, and yeah, he's really excited to <laughs> Sometimes it does that, I don't know. You get three doctors, the price of one. All right, uh, so now we, there's asking a few questions about your child, um, who you are, um, it's gonna, we, we initially had like 10 different categories, we've narrowed it down to three. So really just important medical information, allergies, um, age and whatnot. So Jose is gonna go through this, but what's actually really interesting, if you've noticed the actual questions, um, is actually taking uh, the persona that you just created and also the previous questions and, and kind of re reacting to it. And so you can imagine in the future if you add some voice to it, it can be really interactive. Obviously for this demo, we just did text so that we could get through it really quick. Um, so, yep, so asthma. Yes, you can see, say, hey, this is really useful information. Is there any medication he's taking for his asthma? So again, it's kind of reacting to what you're saying. It's not just this predefined survey and hence sometimes it's very uh, unpredictable. I told it that I only asked six questions. It clearly asked more than six questions. A very nosy doctor. Give it, give it a little bit of time. So now, one more set of questions. This one's actually going to be shorter. It should be four, four or five questions because we actually kind of hard coded, hard coded some of the limits. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, hit okay. We got a backup plan. We got by. We, we, we can also load mock data, uh, so you can actually see what the care plan looks like. Because there's we can load the mock uh, doctor persona, the lot family questions. Lot, we're going to load the mock care plan, and we're just going to jump to the care plan. And we think healthcare is not a list of things that you should do. It should be a journey. Um, so you create this beautiful care plan journey. Um, and when you click on it, it can talk about tuna allergy ma management in case it's the mock data was because the kid was really, uh, allergic to um, tuna. This kid's also vegetarian. If you keep on scrolling, you can see this, it's this week. We, you know, when we think about the, the care plan, we don't want it to be you know, your typical task list, right? We want it to be something that you, you do walk through, right? You do experience. Uh, and it is a timeline until so you see those, uh, uh, the kind of the, the temporal aspect of it update as you go through. And then finally. Yeah, the baby's getting older. And then at the very end, at some point, it gets old enough that it can participate in its own hackathon. <laughs> and the end of the care journey is to participate in the hackathon. So thank you, Nikhil and Danielle, for an amazing <laughs> hackathon.